been feeling like a little rock star. Sorry, I'm a What's up with the bros and uh, welcome back to the channel. Anyway, today we're going to be unboxing some stuff that we have here. I took a video already when I when these things, I'm not going to say what they are, got here. Uh, and then we're going to be installing the things that we have here. Ta-da! Um, so, with that information in mind, uh, let's pray for today's video and then we'll start unboxing because yeah let's pray father god thank you for the opportunity to have all these parts uh thank you for giving me the chance to go work and earn money to pay for these i pray that you continue to bless us as a channel and uh, bless us as we do all of our normal stuff uh and then watch over us today as we do these videos for you and your glory in your gracious name i pray amen uh first item on our list is some odi grips these are recommended for most of the gncc stuff that we're doing I see most of the people running them and repping this exact setup uh, for most of the handlebars that they do. In fact, I just got done watching a video uh, within an hour or so of a gentleman who is doing a uh, LTZ with the same setup as well. So this is probably the only portion that we're not officially unboxing. Um, however, I want to move on to the... No, I'll save it. Just because. Uh, we'll move on to this one because this box is or should be my uh catch i caught it and then i catch it anyway this should be my covers for my handlebars which would be good because the ones i have now as well as they work they have been beaten and battered from the mountaineer race and i rolled her a couple times and they're due for a uh, for an update. The so, refresh. The time has come. Check those bad boys out. So the concept, the concept of these specifically is the bar that goes all the way around from the handlebar. Uh, so basically, where it stops here, it rolls all the way around to the front of it. So basically, what I'm hoping for is that whenever I get these added to um, added to the bar or added to well you yeah, the bar but added to the bike it'll protect my hands not only on the side but also on the front too just in case I hit a tree or whatnot because it happens more than you think. Give you a lot more protection. Very much so. So it looks like there's clamps as you can see here by this example that should go right underneath where the bar is and then they just go out to the side and down and around and go in directly to the uh, handlebar at the very end which is why we got these because they have covers and I don't need I can just remove the covers so one of the people that we watch on YouTube his name is uh, Michael Sabo in case you haven't heard of him uh, one of the most iconic people for builds. He has recommended and mentioned multiple times that eBay is a reliable place to pick up parts. And because I trust him, eBay. So. We are not sponsored. No, we are not sponsored. eBay sponsors. That would be we could uh, use some parts for that one there. Very nice. So, so the piece of resistance. <sighs> The flex bars. You know, Mr. Tyrese, the one who smoked us on the drag strip? Yeah, my guy had one of these. And I'm super excited to rep these because, boy, do they look fancy. So, first on our unboxing list is a sheet, a guide uh, from the Fast Company, uh, Fast with two S's, um, to basically how their product works and the difference between the, uh, the stuff that we have. Uh, next is the dampeners and the compressioners, I believe that's how you pronounce them properly, along with spacers to make sure that it's ironed out and it fits your needs. Uh, last is this, the best part. Fancy. Exactly, dude, I, it's, it's bar actually cushion. like a pretty- Really nice bar cushion. It's very decent too, like thick. Not like one of the ones that like foam. Well, yeah, you don't want to hit the bar. That would no. hurt. No, of course not. And then, of course, the actual handlebars themselves. They come 
originally from the person I purchased them from, which was um, ATV Motorsport on uh, eBay specifically. I'll try and have it linked in the description in case you're interested. Uh, they come customary with the red already on there, which I do believe, according to the videos I've seen so far, and also um, some research I've done individually, is that these are the stiffest ones. Uh, yellow being the in-between and blue being the softest. So, makes sense. Makes sense. Um, so, we're probably going to... I don't, I don't know if we should like go through the process of undoing everything again because we did that for the pro taper video. Two times. Uh, Two times already. Yeah, we we might do it real quickly just to make sure in case you guys haven't seen that video. By the way, go check that out. Some of our old content, not as good, but still awesome. Relevant. 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 Very much so. So let's go ahead and get into that as soon as uh, as soon as we figure out what we're gonna do. With, Relevant. Um, Relevant. Yeah, very much so. Uh, as soon as we figure out what we're going to do with that, and then we'll uh, move straight on to putting them on the Raptor. So, I'm excited to see what they look like. I know, Well, I already know what they look like on Raptor, but on my Raptor, you know, I bought them, you know, that, that kind of thing. Let's do it. Hello, uh, this is Post Will, um, or uh, Editing Will, I don't know. Um, however that works, uh, basically... There was a little bit of an issue with the camera. Um, it got too hot while it was recording, and it basically just scrapped the footage because it didn't have a signified end time. Uh, so it was basically just like, yeah, yeah, you don't have any footage anymore because it got too hot. So um, because of that, I've come out into the garage so I can explain a couple logistic stuff so that way we can still put this video together because I don't have the original footage because I thought everything was ironed out. Check your footage, kids, because if you uh, if you make a mistake like that, then there's no going back, and you have to uh, you have to do this, which doesn't look as good on camera because I'm doing it after the fact. So everything's already put together. <laughs> Yay! Technology is both a blessing and a curse. So with all this information in mind, let's do some explaining. So these risers right here, these risers do not come with the bike. They are not with the bike, with the handlebars. These risers are from my Pro Taper handlebars. I just decided to keep the same rays because as you can see on Andrews, Andrews is the one that has the Raptor bin that does not have the razors. This is what it would look like if the flex bar came the way it is. Or... <sighs> Mr. Tyrese, the way his bike set up, uh, which looks really good, by the way. That's not a negative thing. I'm just trying to explain that the bar will be flush with the actual steering stem. Cool. With the ODI grips, they come customary with two of the locks on either side. There's screws with a small Allen head. I don't know if you can see that because I think the camera's not going to zoom in properly. There we go, with the Allen head right there. There's one on this side, and there's one on this side. If you're going to install the SISC, S, S, Y, S, what is it? S, Y, C, R, A, Sur, Sur, Suiska? Whatever. I'm illiterate anyway, it doesn't make a freaking difference. Anyway, if you're going to install those bars, you need this open, so don't put the cover on it. Plus, I also think it won't be flush. Last and certainly not least, I believe this is still left in the video, but I want to make sure that you get this information anyway. Uh, from the factory, they come with a three thread limit. As you can see, there's three threads right there. It's kind of hard to tell, but there's one, two, and three. Uh, every time you tighten or loosen them or take them off or put the new ones on or vice versa or whatever you see fit, make sure that they are still customary with the three thread limit. Anything past that or under that, you've either over or under tightened the, the handlebars. All right, so this is the semi-finished product. Uh, off yeah. All right, so this is the official finished product with the cover on it. Uh, we mocked up the handlebars, which you'll be seeing in a later video, uh, or not the handlebars, the uh, the covers for the handlebars. Um, and we basically figured out that there's threads in here, and uh, we're gonna try and mock that up and see what that looks like and see if that's a feasible thing because it's kind of weird to jerry rig it the way it is. 
Uh, but all in all, we're all pretty satisfied about the handlebars and also the grips. It definitely adds a different flavor to the bike. It matches really well. Pro Taper doesn't st doesn't stick out like a sore thumb anymore. Um, obviously, this is nowhere close to being race ready with all the additional stuff that needs to be done to it, like fixing the tire number one. Uh, I want to still do an exhaust system for it so we have peak performance so there's no excuses for me racing. Uh, and then I want to replace the front bumper because I somehow tweaked it. And then that's pretty much it. Uh, that stuff's in the making. Uh, everything I wanted to get for this has already been paid for in here. So now we, uh, now we just have to see what's going to happen moving forward. I'm excited to see what we're going to do for it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, stay tuned for Andrew's portion of our unboxing video for today. We're getting ready to go record that and get everything ironed out there. Uh, and then also the part two of the, well, technically part, part, holy crap, part two uh, of the handlebar covers after we figure that out. So see you guys for those videos, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the content, and we'll see you in the near future. Sweet. Shout out my homies, we gon' pop for them trophies yeah, Like they can't hold me, thinking God, I've been chosen Go through the motions, all them times, I was hopeless Now we the coldest Look, I've been trying to tell y'all since like 1-3 Got my soul up in the trunk, and my God got the key Spirit trying to...